Hi everybody, my name is Dave and today I will be demonstrating how to install a Payrings laundry kit on a Speed Queen dryer with an MDC control board. To begin with, ensure the machine's power is off, unscrew and lower the control panel, and unlock and remove the service door from the meter cover. Inside the meter cover, locate the 3 pin connector attached to the drop coin mechanism. Unplug this connection and connect the 3 pin female connector from the pay range wires labeled coin to the male lead connector that was unplugged from the drop coin mechanism through the hole between the meter cover and the control panel. Pull the wiring through the hole and connect the 3 pin male connector from the pay range harness to the female connector of the coin drop mechanism. Next, locate the 7 pin Molex connector from the pay range laundry kit and plug it into the machine's control board. Located on the pay range laundry interface module are 3 dip switches. Ensure dip switch 2 is set to on when installing on dryers. Remember to change dip switch 2 to off when installing on any washing machine. Gather all access wires and tie them neatly together. Following this best practice will reduce the chances of accidentally pinching any wires when closing the machine's control panel. Next, let's attach the pay range blue key to the 6-pin connector on the pay range laundry kit. Locate and unplug the 4-pin connector on the control board which would provide AC voltage to the pay range laundry interface module. Polarity does not matter in AC voltage, so insert either terminal from the P1 harness into the empty channels on the 4-pin connector. Make sure the crimp side is facing up and the Molex plug is faced latched up. Once the wire is inserted all the way in, you might hear and or feel a click. If you gently pull on it, it will not come out. Repeat this process with the other terminal on the P1 harness by inserting it into the empty channel on the 4-pin connector. Be sure to pull on the wire to confirm it's locked. Connect the opposite end of the P1 harness to the 2-pin connector labeled power on the pay range laundry kit. Locate and plug the 4-pin connector back to the machine's control board. Once power is turned on, the laundry interface module will have a green LED lit, pay range blue key will have a blue LED lit. Close and screw back the control panel onto the machine and ensure no wires are pinched. To go into the programming mode, ensure the service door is kept open. Push the top two buttons of the first column simultaneously to enter the programming mode. The display will read rapid. Push the button with the arrow up symbol until the display reads program and then push the start or enter button. Once in the programming menu, continue pushing the button with the arrow up symbol until PLSE is displayed. Then push the start or enter button. The pulse value should be set to 25. Continue to push the start button until the desired field flashes and use the arrow up and down buttons to change the value. Once the pulse value has been changed to 25, continue pressing enter until the display reads pulse N. Push start and change this setting to 192 by using the arrow up button. Once completed, click start and click start once again when A type is displayed. Set this value to 3 by using the arrow up button and then hit the start button. To exit programming mode, continuously push the same top two buttons used earlier to enter programming mode until the display reads the price of the machine. Finish our setup using the PayRange mobile app and test our device.